living the dream. Oh my gosh. Think of all the lemons we're I'm saving. Sweet. Crocs off the pedals. I knew it the whole time. I knew it. We've never had this knife. Double bubble. Got a hog leg in it. Out of state on another road trip. Breaking another finger. No, I got this. You gotta check your rear end. <laughs> Toasting my piggies. Is him a good boy? It's so comfortable. Poor baby. You gotta buy every oh pumpkin. Lord, see that? Look at this. <laughs> oh, God. Real deal. Holy field. Woo! What are you doing? You a hot dog? What's going on here? I don't know. I know. You can't break these. What's the worst that could happen? Don't. How about them apples? What the heck? Take your time, I'm, I'm good. My father-in-law drove this truck. What are you doing? What's going on in here? You little goat smeller. 1989. Oh my heavens. Oh, Rocky, no, 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 no. I clean my crack all the time. Listen to that idiot. Hey. I wonder. <laughs> Coyotes. Ah! We have never had anything this Look at this. Seven MG midgets. Yeah, monkey ass. Welcome back to the Sleep For Dude YouTube channel. Man, we got big news today. Kids are at school, me and the wife are headed to go look at the most expensive vehicle we have ever looked at before. We've been having a bunch of trouble with our truck and we're going to look at a truck. It's on Facebook Marketplace and it looks like it could be perfect for us, but man, it's gonna be three times as expensive as anything we've ever bought before. So, uh, are you nervous, Spender? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'm a little nervous about it. It's like, what should you do? Our truck has 300,000 miles on almost now. It's giving us some problems and we can fix it, but we would have to like basically pull everything out and rebuild everything to do it. So we're looking at a newer truck. We got about 30 minutes drive to go look at it. So we will show you this thing as soon as we pull up, but uh, let's see if maybe we can buy this thing. That man right there is living the dream. Trash bag window on a Lincoln. Doesn't get no better than that. He's got both back windows taped up. For sure, he's a viewer on the channel. But <laughs> we, all right, we're about to pull up here at the pilot. I think I see it over there. It's already got a camper top. That's pretty necessary. All right, let's go talk to this man. Hey, well, I guess that's gonna be our truck now. I guess we're buying a truck. This thing is three times more expensive than anything we've ever bought in our life, car-wise. Yeah. So, we gotta go to the bank and pay this man. Oh my lord. Ravi is gonna be oh. so tore up. He's gonna be so tore up. He's gonna be so excited over this. And this thing has just 100,000 miles on it, which back in the day that would have been wore out, <laughs> but I mean, nowadays it seems like, I mean, our truck's got 300 on it, so hopefully we'll get a lot of use out of this thing. Already got a camper top. I mean, it's pretty much exactly what we're looking for. Seat six people, vinyl seats. It was literally exactly what we're looking for. We wanted like a steel wheel work truck. It's a little scary because, I mean, we've never bought something this expensive at all. I mean, $30,000, it's a lot of money. You guys know what trucks are going for. We couldn't find trucks. Like if you look on Facebook Marketplace, we looked on like Auto Trader. Everything I could find was like 40 grand. Of course, everyone I could find was like, high country or lt model we definitely ain't no high country we're not high country we'll take so. that wt <sighs> let's go write this man a big check oh lord we're gonna be the soup line the soup line for sure here we go <laughs> Dun, you guys this is the biggest bank we've ever walked in too golly well it's ours and we're excited this is so big for us never bought any kind of vehicle this thing this thing's four years old a hundred thousand miles which for us is unheard of but <laughs> The, the biggest reason why we're doing this though for you guys that are wondering why we would buy a newer vehicle like this is with the youtube stuff we are constantly towing out of state now going to kentucky we're about to be going to florida next month and our truck like we've been worried for over a year now that it wasn't going to make it on one of these trips so we need something reliable to do some towing and we could have fixed our truck but like it really needed the transfer case redone the rear end was starting to make noise. The engine was needed redone. The controls aren't working. The radio's not working. A lot of things that are not, well, even the power seat, some of the power seat stuff. So I really wanted like a work truck model like this, like manual seats, you know, steel wheels, something that not as many things to break on. So it's got a backup camera. We won't have to squeeze as many lemons. 
Think of all the lemons we're I'm saving. I'm squeezing lemons, whether you like it or not. I'm squeezing lemons. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this thing home and see what the kids think about it. The only question is, who's going to drive it home? <laughs> you better. You want me to drive it? Okay. Well, you're more cautious. Follow me. We don't have a tag, so follow me. Okay. She's so fancy. She wanted to sit in it before we left. We'll have to clean this thing up. It's not I know. Fun. We're going to do it. It'll be in this video. We're going to clean it up. We're going to check some stuff out on it, make sure it's good to go. Can we yeah, crank it up. <laughs> Sounds like your car it starts in the LS. If I didn't tell you, it's a six liter flex fuel engine, 6L80E, I believe, three quarter ton model. You like it? Love it. I'm glad I don't have cloth seats. That was one thing. We got a seat for Mimi. We can take Mimi somewhere. Yes, Mimi gets to go with us. Man, I'm not used to riding this kind of luxury. It does drive pretty good for a three quarter ton truck. You know, sometimes they can be a little bumpy, but. It uh, is doing really good. We're headed 70 miles an hour home. Man, I can't wait to see the kids' reactions to this. We're just blessed to be able to buy something like this. We're really excited about it. And as long as we can keep her Crocs off the pedals, we ought to be okay with this thing. This one's got a little bit more oil pressure than our other truck. You have any trouble keeping up with me? No. I, I feel like I'm in somebody else's truck is what I feel like. You know? You are. You're in my truck. <laughs> I should have known. We should probably give him a walk around on this thing. So yeah, 2018. It's a work truck, 2500 HD. I think it needs some bigger casings, like some mud casings. What do you think? You know, Rocky, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't realize it had running boards until we got right up on it, but Mama says it needs tinted windows. I think it needs some mud casings. I like how it has like manual seats. Got a little whiskey dent in the bumper here. Also a little whiskey dent in this bedside, which caused it to rub that. I can bend that out a little bit. Man, this is nice for us though. Like this is super nice. Super fancy. And this, I'm honestly, this is one of the biggest selling points. It's like it has the camper top so we can lock our stuff up in it. That's awesome. Chickens love it. It's a real chick magnet. How come every truck we get, you end up saying it's yours? Cause you don't like trucks. That's true. Look, came with the big donkey hitch. I'm talking, you could pull the house down with that. I like how it's vinyl seats, seat six people. Just a little tear, don't worry about that. I like how it has a manual shifter for the transfer case. I love that kind of stuff. There's no gas cap on these, yeah. No cap to lose anymore. You never seen nothing like that, have you? No. Yeah, not much to see here. Hydro boost brakes, got the six liter in it. So I guess this is right at the end of the port injection uh, six liters, right before they went to the 6.6 six with direct injection and all that. We'll have to clean it up. He he wasn't expecting to sell it today, so he didn't clean it up, but we'll have to clean it up with the kids. We can't have our helper helping Oh, no, 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 no. He'll be in there amongst it. But just a rubber floor mat mall, the good stuff. You know, like the old trucks were built. We should hide it at Mike's house. Okay. We'll leave it down there. We'll go pick the kids up from school like nothing ever happened, and then I'll go get it, and we'll see their reaction. Good idea. Good idea? Yeah. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> We're so sneaky, huh? I reckon. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right, let's go get the kids from school and see what they think. Once we show us the kids, the only thing we got left to do is throw some sawdust in the oil and send her through the sale on the old truck. What? <laughs> That's what you do. Put sawdust in the oil and it stops it from knocking and then you just run it through That's the sale. That's terrible. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> We'll just act like we have to go over to Mike's house for something real quick. Not tell him nothing about it. Okay, who wants to see me cut some stuff up in the shop here today on the back of this Ford Fairmont? Well, thankfully, Kamikoto Knives is sponsoring this video. So we're gonna open these bad boys up and see what we can cut up with them. Now, if you're not familiar with the brand, they make high quality Japanese steel knives that are individually inspected. They come in this nice heavy duty ash wood box, makes for a great present, but man, look at these things. They're super high quality. This is a little better than what we got for our wedding shower 17 years ago, we're still using in there. They might as well be butter knives now, but man, look at this. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. So let's get these things out and try to cut some stuff with them. Now they have a lifetime guarantee and they're used by Michelin star chefs around the world. Let's see how sharp this thing is. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm used to, have to having to saw through stuff, you know? 
Yeah, that is really nice. And they're really sturdy feeling like there's a lot of weight in the handle. Let's try the bigger one. I think this is for cutting vegetables. Oh, wow. Man, that just like makes super easy work of, of that. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it cuts vainas though, because that's the true test of a knife, you know? Now, Kamakoto has several special offers going on right now, and they're offering our viewers an extra $50 off any purchase when you use code SLEEPERDUDE. Man, look, they gypped us on this can. Can you believe that? It ought to make quick work of these. Okay, let's try our other knife out here. Now, the reason these knives are such high quality is because they're working off of a legacy of over 800 years of Japanese technology in creating steel and making knives. They go through a 19-step process that takes several years from start to finish. So big thank you to Kamikoto for sponsoring this video. These things are super high quality. They make a great gift this Christmas. Make sure you go to kamikoto.com slash sleeperdude to get an additional $50 off your purchase. Now let's get back to the video. Did you guys have a good day? Yeah. Did you miss me or mom more today? Yeah. Okay. This is our new truck. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. I knew it. Oh, are you kidding? I knew it the whole time. Are you kidding? I literally said, when we pulled up, I said to Wawa, I said, that's our new truck. There ain't no I'm way. Sorry. I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 Yeah. Oh, my
we gotta clean this thing up though. Oh yeah. Yeah, it wasn't even cleaned up. Yeah, we need to clean it up and check all our stuff out. It's about time to change the oil, so we need to like change the oil on it and clean it up and stuff, get it ready. Oh, whoa. Oh wow. Kick her down. It's like half throttle. This thing's got a hog leg in it. So is this Ralphie approved? Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. It is I'm, Wally approved. I'm sorry. It's not a uh, F9000 or something. You know, Peterbilt. I know you're wanting something like that. No, yeah. it's good. It actually is pretty good. I Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. I'm not much of a truck person, but I like a truck that can do work, like haul a lot of stuff and tow. Look, it came with these donkey hitches. It's got the oh, the bigger size receiver. Look how big that is. What? Looks like we probably don't even have a socket to fit that. We have those like big. The biggest one we have is like a 38. Yeah, you gonna see in the bed? Yeah. So we can still put our stuff in here, and it still has the side opening stuff, oh, just yeah. like our other truck does. A I feel a little better. sad for our old truck. Look at it sitting over there. It's like it knows what's going on. It We're does. cheating on it. <laughs> you got to put the hitch in it right now. Yep. Where's the pin? We just got rid of I don't know. Ow. Well, at least we got that done. Wait. Oh man, it's squatted down to the bump stops now. Like your dad's truck, a little bit. But better. Yeah. I wonder how much it weighs. 6,200 pounds, I think, or something. It's about more than yours? It's like the same. Makes sense. Just a newer version of our other truck. Well, this is a Silverado. That's a Sierra. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to make that mistake. Love it? Yes. All right, that's four low. Oh, my Lord. Probably should have tried this before I bought it. Oh, yeah. Is it's, it spinning? No, it's just that low gear because it's like double the gear ratio. So full drive works. That's so slow. I love that. Like our other truck had the electric uh, transfer case. I hate that. I want to. I want to do it myself. You know, I don't like electric controls on that stuff. I love having like a shifter. This is awesome. So it's the next day. We got some big news. Now we have been researching getting this truck for like what now? Months. We've been looking yeah. for trucks. Trying to decide if we're going to fix our old one or, or get a new truck. So also we have been researching about trailers and we've been talking to a company that is in Georgia, which is the state below us. They had the best deals of anybody we found and we've been talking back and forth with them. Well, they special ordered us a trailer and they called us today and told us that it's there. So we got to get this thing ready to make the trip to Georgia to go pick this trailer up. So we will have a basically an all new rig now so we can haul out of state without being worried but we gotta get this truck ready to go. And the guy I got it from told me that it needed oil change. So we're gonna check all our fluids before we go out of state on another road trip. Right? Yes. Right. Wawa wants to change the oil on this thing because she likes doing that kind of stuff. All right, you see the drain plug down the bottom of the oil pan? So see if that fits that drain plug oh, up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not Is that too that. big? That may be too big. Yeah, it's too big. Does yeah. it fit? Yes. All right, you're gonna have to push it towards the front of the vehicle without smashing your hand in that cross member and breaking another finger. Oh, good Lord, that's a... Do you want me to break it loose? No, I got this, maybe. <laughs> Here, let me break it loose, then you can take it out. Okay, 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 fair enough. Oh, Where'd it go? Okay. Just don't drop it when you get done. How about that? Remember how mom I'm dropped not, everything? I'm not like Muzzy. <laughs> I think it's got like 7,000 miles on the oil. Apparently. Well, straight out, you got it. Oh my God. <laughs> I did not expect that. It's pretty dark. It, it recommends changing it every 7,500 miles, so. Okay. I guess that's normal. I kind of hate how these LS oil filters are just, I mean, look, you cannot get your hand on them. I don't know why they made them this way. And you can tell that they got changed at a oil change place because it has a no-name oil filter on it. Eco, eco something oil filter I didn't never seen before. We'll put a Wix on it though, right, Wawa? Yes, right, correct. Golly, of course they tighten it down. Ah, don't do this. Do you want that other tool you got? I may need it. Ralphie. Yeah, I know you're talking about. This is the second time we've had to use this. It got sent in the fan mail. It is coming really handy. Wow, that is a good tool. Like, if you have enough room to get just the little strap in there, you can get off there. Ooh, oh. Right down the arm. You want to get it all the way to your elbow if you can. <laughs> there we go. 
Look at the seal. Okay, here is a life lesson for you guys. The seal came off of the oil filter and stuck to the block. So if you look up here, the seal is still stuck to the block. So I'm gonna pull it off right there. I ruined an engine one time because I did not pay attention to that. I took the old one off, put the new one on, and it was two seals stacked on top of each other then, and it doesn't seal off. And it immediately blew all the oil out of the engine, out of the side of the oil filter, and ruined it. Had to buy a new engine. Like uh, at the same I, time. I told like, her to put it back in the oil pan, and she started to drop it in here. <laughs> That's a drain pan. This is well, an oil I pan. Know, I know, but like, I was like, really if you want me to. Remember, you always want to tighten it so bad that the next person cannot get it off of there. That was exactly what yeah, you Yeah, you're good up there. So we're going to use Rotella T6. I've used this stuff, if you watch my old videos, ever since my Maverick back like 15 years ago. So I had mechanics back then tell me that, you know, use diesel, synthetic diesel oil. So that's what I run. Now, we can't always get it. Sometimes I use like the Rule King brand. I just always run 5W40 diesel <laughs> synthetic and everything we run around here. It's just really good at protecting the engine. It has more additives in it. It's just good stuff, basically. It's not not super expensive compared to like your racing oils that are much more expensive that are about the same quality. Sorry about that, Ralph. Okay, I'll just All right. the o -ring. Thank you. I always pre-fill my oil filters because that way you're not dry starting your engine. If you start it with an empty oil filter, it's got to fill all this up before your mains and cam get oil. Uh, Wix filter and the diesel oil is my go-to on everything we have. We got that so tight, nobody will ever get it off again, so that's good. I don't know can if I either one of y'all can even reach can, the oil filter. Can I stand on the fender? No, you can't oh, stand can on the fender. Look, there you go. Wait, where, where, where? This oh, I can step on the casing. Right here. Oh. Here. Here you go. Remember how to pour it like that, yeah. Because so, it's it doesn't go bloop, bloop, because bloop, it makes bloop. no sense. That's why. What's so bad with it going? Bloop, bloop? Ralphie wants to pour the rest in. Yeah, we got two different brands here, but it'll be fine, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. How much does he need to pour in? Just all of it. I don't know how much it holds. We'll figure it out in the end. Mm. It'll burn off what it don't need. Yeah, we'll see the smoke. <laughs> Remember, Ralphie always fills the lawnmowers up to the top. Yeah, you think it's on fire. Get it out of the handle. Lean it to where the handle can drain. There you go. Golly, you about took our heads off. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with uh, some of our older builds on the channel, I used to have a Toyota Starlet with a six liter in it. It was the same exact engine this truck has. So it was a pull out of one of these newer trucks. Got the hog leg. In 2020, they went to the direct injective motors, which makes more power, uh, the 6.6 .6 liter, but I just kind of like the fact that this one's simple, port injection, I can work on it. Wawa, why don't you start it up for a second and we'll let it circulate and we'll check it again. You ready? What? Oh, it's waving. It's waving. <laughs> now we couldn't afford a new truck, but we got the next big thing here. Got some new car smell to put in it, so it's gonna be new. Yeah, let's double up on that. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Now it's showing good, so just need to circulate a little bit, I guess. We need Rocky here. I mean, he knows how to do this stuff. There. We don't right need here. Rocky with my new truck. He don't need to be in a new truck. Mm mm. He would hop right in there with you. How's it? Uh, needs more. It ain't gonna take hardly any. It's not very low. That's plenty. That's plenty. Well, it looks like it's good on antifreeze and brake fluid, so. I think you're right, so. We should get it up to temperature and check the transmission. I do need to get underneath there and check the transfer case and differentials, too. So, the way you check your rear differential oil is you got a plug right here. Basically, if it pours out, it's full. If not, it needs some, and it looks like it leads at least a little bit here. You got to check your rear end. Isn't that right, Ralphie? Yeah. You got to check your own rear end. Nobody's going to check your rear end for you, you know? Check your own. Tell them, Ralphie. Check it. Getting a full tank of ethanol race gas here. Man, I like that you can run ethanol on this thing. Cleans the engine, makes more donkeys, higher octane, and it's cheaper. Hey, at least we can watch some sports for free. No, it shut us off. So I don't know how much this thing holds. It must have a 30 gallon tank. This will be the first car my wife didn't lose the fuel cap for. Well, good morning. We ended up running out of time yesterday to work on the truck because it had three basketball games last night. Today's the day to go get the trailer, 
So we're dropping them off at school. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of impossible to take them with us because the hours at the trailer place is open. So they're gonna go to school. Me and mom are gonna pick up the trailer and they'll get to see it when they get out of school this evening. And we'll finish up, get this truck uh, cleaned up and serviced up. Yeah. Are you guys excited about the trailer? Yes. Yeah. So is it a thing that you have to sit in the front every time? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I, I, I think you're going to sit in the back. Bye, Dad. Bye. 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 Love you. See you this evening. We'll check be out good. the new trailer. Yeah, we will be good. Whatever. Wink, wink. <laughs> be good. Wink, wink. She said. I'm not used to this kind of heat in a vehicle. I am ready. I can't want it. I'm just not. Our other one. It was like. I mean, it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like how you try to, you know, write your name on a mirror. That's all you got out of it. I mean, it was barely any heat at all. Man, this thing is toasting my piggies right now. I'm gonna turn it off. I need just a little bit. About a close to a quart long. Dun, dun, dun. You gotta check all this stuff, guys. Especially if you're gonna do towing. I'm kinda surprised it's a little bit low on transmission fluid, though. Probably never been checked. So this thing's supposed to have 60 in the front casings and 80 in the back. Almost there, it's like 50. Oh, I think that's gonna be fine. Oh, you think you don't need them more than that? No. <laughs> it says it on the thing. I think it's good. You're going to pop it quick. A little more. Oh, um, my head is. So we weren't able to film it when we initially looked at the truck. So I want to kind of show you guys what I was looking at when I went around the truck before we bought it. I was looking to see if this thing had been wrecked. So if you look right here, you look at like your hood bolts. See the hood bolts still have the paint on them. There's no ring where they've been taken loose. The paint's not chipped off the bolt heads. Same thing going down through here. They all look like they've been in place. All the clips look correct on the front cover here. It still has the sticker on it, stuff like that. Because if any of this stuff's been taken off before, a lot of times people lose the clips or especially breaking the bolts loose. So it's never been wrecked hard in the front for sure. Just look at this. It's the original hood, original seam sealer and bolts. Look right here at your door hinge bolts. Never been taken off. You wanna look at all your doors, check all your gaps, make sure there's nothing that's uh, not lining up, you know, correctly. Everything looks good on this thing. With a bedside or a quarter panel is look for these factory spot welds. Now these can be duplicated if somebody does a really good job and has a spot welder, but a lot of times they'll MIG weld them back on. So all those seams look factory. All the seams in here look factory. Also, all the factory chip guard is still in place. A lot of times uh, shops won't replace that correctly. So this thing for sure has never been wrecked hard in the front or the rear, just judging by that. All the texture in the paint looks the same. Uh, it doesn't have like more orange peel or a slicker panel. Uh, all the panels look the same, so I can confidently say this thing's never been wrecked hard. Another thing you always want to check, I like to pull the oil cap off, and if the oil cap has like any yellow or milky stuff underneath it, it's probably got a blown head gasket. Pull the dipstick, if it's same thing, if it's milky or yellow looking, that tells you something. If it's completely black or, you know, not even on the dipstick, you know, they haven't maintained it very well, but... That's the stuff I look for. Maybe that'll help somebody. Are you sure about the 80? <laughs> that seems like an awful lot. This is them haul it all casings right here. Iron Man. You can't overinflate an Iron Man. I beg to differ. <laughs> Rockies, you have got a serious winter coat going on right now. Look how furry he is right now. We'll bring the trailer back. We'll let you walk on it, okay? Hey, Vanya. Good morning. Scooey, we're going on a road trip. He likes road trips. He knew it. He knew what he was going to do. He can't help it. Why does he love you the best? He does me. I don't know. He really loves me. He loves little heart. All right. Let's go to Georgia. So I shopped around for months for a trailer. I tried to find used ones. Eventually, I found this D&D &D trailer sales in Lafayette, Georgia. And their price on a brand new one was the same price or cheaper than what I was finding used ones for. So they had the best deal around that I could find. So we're going to go out here and pick this thing up. Scooby, is you a good boy? He's him the bestest one. You coming and sit with me? No, he don't want to sit with you. You know he don't want to sit with you. <laughs> <laughs> is he resting his head? Yeah, he put his head in the stairwell hole. <laughs> it's so comfortable. Poor baby. <laughs> He's 
so sleepy. More Tennessee mountains. Leaves turning. In 2.9 miles, take exit 353 onto State Route 146 toward Rossville. What are you doing, Skate? He's wound up, isn't he? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a word about it. Listen, we ain't got to buy every Look at pumpkin. That little front porch, fresh market. I love it. We had a little lip pooch out of you. She's just over here making dreams come true. You know, sticky nose out the window. Make a wish over here. <laughs> He's never been able to reach that high before. <coughs> here we are, D and D. He's got a look at that tractor right there. You don't need that tractor. There's a Corvette over there. Look, they got big ones. Big boys. There's me a cattle trailer. Lord, see, Daddy, I didn't know I was coming to get all this. You ain't getting no cattle trailer tonight. Yeah, Daddy does a Tony with a four foot. Of course, yeah. not, that way, if you like the four vents or something, it's exactly it's a lot better. We do the powder coated wheel standard too, or most people do four inch channel frame. We do five inch. Okay, well, we got the man paid. We're going to pull back here and hook this thing. They're gonna throw a spare on it. We bought a spare because, you know, we haul a lot. And uh, this will be the first time we towed anything with this truck. But, man, really nice guy to deal with. I can't believe how nice it looks. I wasn't expecting all the, like, pinstriping and everything. You know, that's really nice. We're so fancy. You don't even have to squeeze lemons of it for this one. I wanna get back and make sure you don't scratch something up. That's so much easier. You better just wait and go back there and look. <laughs> better look, all right, you go look, go look. <laughs> Oh, she got to go out. Okay, okay. She don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> she thinks, I think she thinks it has a microphone. <laughs> oh, 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 she wants me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that keeping it there? I'm confused. This is too high tech. All right, all right, let me try it. Thank you. Oh, you just crank it, honey. It wasn't doing that for me. What? What do you mean? You didn't turn it then if it wasn't doing that for you. I turned it both ways and couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, I just thought she wasn't going to be squeezing no lemons. Oh! I guess this is going to Oh, God. How fancy is oh, it? Oh, Lord. You're going to have this thing parked in the garage. We ain't going to be able to get I'll near it. give it a wax, huh? Wait, oh. that one actually works? Wow. Get her done, son. We're not used to this. We're used to the China chains that just let you know it left you and then it breaks and goes on. Well, you can grease the bearings from out here. What? Powder coated hoops, he said. Man, pins dropped it. Fancy rings. Oh. The ramps go up under it. Oh, it has ramps too? Yeah, it has ramps. How are you going to load it? Pop it up on there like I do. <laughs> no, we ain't whistling diesel now. Oh. Yeah, see, those are your oh, ramps. Ramp. It's got a four foot dovetail. Man, it's so much nicer, isn't it? It's a tow rig right here. We can haul a crew cab on it, and it's, it's can haul 10,000 pounds. All right, let's get this thing home. Real deal, holy field, what I heard. You ready to go, Scooty? I'm surprised you didn't lock us out. Are you kidding me? You didn't blow the windows out or turn it no. off or get the keys out like I asked you to? No. When That's is the he, only key we have. When has he ever locked only, us out? Only every time he rides in the car. They got your daddy's trailer. <laughs> he left it. Your daddy left his trailer now. <laughs> no, he's been here. I'm telling you what, you're not gonna know what to do. I won't. I don't even know. I don't know what to do with my hands. We got our spare on there now. They put that on there for us, and we are headed home. Man, this is gonna be so much better for hauling big vehicles. We're like going on a trip and needing to haul mini bikes and maybe Ralphie's Jeep and stuff. Why buy a used one? for the same price what you can get a new one for. Everybody seems to want new prices for their stuff, you know? There's this business card if you want to get you a trailer if you're in the North Georgia area or close by. I don't think you're going to find a better deal anywhere else. Back in Tennessee. I didn't hear two claps of Ric Flair out of you. Woo! <laughs> we missed the Georgia sign on the way down. Ralphie's going to be so tore up by this thing, isn't he? Oh yeah, I'm here. He's going to be that mom. This, the, is, this is this, this is that. Yeah. You got to do this, you got to do that. He'll school me on it for 30 minutes once he gets out from school. Hello, peepers. I'm getting about four different signals from her back there. What I'm supposed to be doing. 
Did you say I had one lemon hot and I, one lemon light? I had no idea what the second hand was doing. I didn't know which one you could see. So, look. We're even here. Check this out. Look how much extra room. That is... An extra six feet here that we could put whatever on. That's gonna be nice on trips and stuff, going to events. Even just getting a bigger car. How many cars have we got? We had to take Look, the off. See the single frame on that trailer? Look, this one's got double frame. We upgraded for sure. And that's like equipment trailer ramps anyway. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Come on. It's so scary, isn't it, Scooty? It's new. You like it, Scoot? He's like, I can't walk on the surface. Ralphie's home from school. Did you have a good day, bud? Straight to the trailer? You gotta yeah. see it right now? Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll go show you. The girls... Mom said it was very party. It is very party. So the girls aren't home yet. They still got practice, but Ralphie can check it out. What a beauty. Another beauty. Another beauty. Go ahead. Another beauty. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Turn around. Oh my lord. Look at that. White pinstripes and everything. She's slicker, she said. You can walk on it. Look, that, look how thick the frame is versus that one. It's like double. <laughs> what are you doing? You hot dog? A place to mount the winch. Wow. Yeah, so it's from here to where the end is longer. Oh, yeah. That's cool. It starts here. It's four feet dovetail instead of whatever that one is. Yeah, it's crazy long. We can put like the mini winnie up on it, no problem. How long is this? 24? 24, yeah. Without the ramps on, we can probably fit our old motor home. <laughs> Maybe. Two feet back here, two well, feet up there. Yeah. Yeah. You can take the fenders off. Do you want to take one off? See, and now, if you have like your Corvette and the door's real low, you can open it up. I need to do something quick. Yeah, definitely. What's going on here? I have no idea. What would you rate it? A 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Is it what you thought it would be? Yes. Kind of. <laughs> Not that glossy though. It's very shiny, you isn't it? see your reflection. Oh, so this one's welded. Yeah, because, you know, this is a marker, son. All right, were you ready to clean this truck up? Yeah. Finish checking it out? Yes, sir. Ralphie approved? Yes. Instead of having to crank for days and days on this, Pull that pin out, huh. and you can set the height. That's awesome. And then, and you, then you just can have to barely. Look at the safety chains. You can't break these. You want to drive the truck around front? We'll clean her up. I guess you want. This seems safe. I don't think I like this. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? This guy. He's got it all figured out, don't he? Man, this is a long rig now. That's good. Don't. You like it? Yeah. Could you see over the hood? Barely. I have to do that and then I can't even see below that. <laughs> it makes me feel better about it. I can't see the tip of the hood. So it's got an 18 millimeter plug here on the transfer case. Look how loose this is. That is super loose. I don't know why it would be that loose. Let's see if it's got any fluid in it. What do you think, Ralphie? Maybe. It's full. It's leaking down. So we're good there. What are you checking now? Checking the front differential here. I just want to know. It's fine. Look, nothing's pouring out. What about that? You like apples? How about them apples? We're going to pump some gear on this thing. I think it's actually already full. Now I put just barely a little bit in it. It was almost full. Yeah. I've heard some things with the Chevrolets about having problems wearing ball joints out. So people probably don't grease them enough. Well, Ralphie, I believe we've checked about everything now. So we're going to move on to some bodywork stuff we need to do, okay? What? Bodywork, look. See where the tailgate rubs? The bedside right here? So somebody has hit this bedside in, and it's contacting the tailgate now. And it rubs when you get down. How are you going to do bodywork? I'll show you. What the heck? Let's get this bedside over See how it's bowed in? It's supposed to be completely flat. So we should be able to push this out some back where it's supposed to be. So see how it's sticking out past the tail light? It's supposed to be flush with the tail light, right, Rocky? See? He's see what's he knows. going on. He knows what's going on. 
Should be Thank good. You bear, you little body man, you. Poke it through the center hole. There you go. That's your backup camera wire. I'm gonna get up in here. Well, take your time. Take your time. I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, take your time. Shut up. There. So here's our next project. Somebody's done this. Clearly, my father in laws drove this truck at some point. It's ripped out all these tabs, but I think we can put washers behind them and get them back on there. You concur? Yes. Yeah. What are you doing? Looking at your... my Fairmont. Looking at your car. So instead of snapping this in like a factory, we're going to put this big washer under it, and that should hold this thing up. What's going on in here? Get out of the car. It's him in vacuum, bro. No crumbs for you. He's sniffing everything, you little goat smeller. Come on. Oh, Lord. So here's what that fix looks like from the bottom side. Pretty cool. So that's how easy it is, and you don't even have to buy lower cover. It's... Just as good as new again. So we're gonna clean this thing out now. Clean the interior up, wash it. Shouldn't take long, it's really not that dirty. I don't expect you to do this for free, okay? Any coinage you find under the seat, it's yours to keep. Paper money, that's mine, okay? All right, go team. Woo! Can y'all say Mr. Krabs? You looking for money? Yeah. 1989. It has a stain. Watch. This is the cleanest car we've ever cleaned, isn't it? For real. Look at this. Found a penny. That was mine. Whee! No Rockies allowed in this one. They're not sitting in your ear. That's the easiest car to vacuum we've ever bought. I'll be excited to drive 11 hours in this thing. I'll be able to see Squeeze. She'll be way over there and I'll be way over here. <laughs> be way better. Look at this. It's been a while Are since we I've seen the, the floors? Well, it's rubber. Like. Yeah, it's gonna be so slick. Are we gonna slide up in there? We just washed them out with a water hose on the farm, but I, I don't want to get a bunch of water in here and rust everything. What have you got? Uh, well, it didn't have any floor mats. I'm not taking some out of a Fairmont, okay? Here, pull it. Look, that's the deluxe one. That's all across the middle for squeeze. I like how this falls down. Put stuff under it like that. Oh, wait, can I fit under here? You can just live under there. Oh my heavens. We're just going the extra mile, aren't we? Yeah, for sure. People don't clean the jam as much as this. Oh, Rocky, no, 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 no. Rocky, no. No, no. We just cleaned it. No. Go, go. No, not this one. He just wants to nibble. How many times have you cleaned your other truck like this? Listen, I clean my crack all the time. Oh, <laughs> Dad, Jesus. This is what? Yeah, if we had a three quarter ton Fairmont, we wouldn't need nothing else, would we? No. Perfect vehicle. Put some super clean on this. Maybe we can make this bed shine again. Mike, the neighbor. Listen to that, idiot. <laughs> so I use actual car wash soap on stuff with good paint. I don't use the blue dawn. I wouldn't recommend on a good paint job. Oh, Every last bit of it. It's like cutting them toothpaste tubes open. Oh my heavens. Hey, quit, that hurts. All right, that's enough. Who's been stepping on my floor mats? Look, 
truck. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder who stepped on my floor mats I cleaned for the other truck. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it says croc on it. Who could have done it? No clue. Guys, make sure and don't get the distributor. We don't want the points to get wet, okay? Sure. It can't. We don't have points. Mm -mm. I think so. Ma was just spraying it all. She didn't care about the points or nothing. No. A lot of people have uh, mixed emotions about washing under the hood. You can't mess some things up. You gotta be careful on what you wash. Especially mm -hmm. on older cars. It was like coated. It's like they sprayed it with armor all and then got dust got on it. It was such slimy feeling. Hopefully she still runs after this. That'll be good. Is that coyotes? Yep. Coyotes. The yokes? Are you kidding me? Good lord. They better keep their coyote butts the over day. there. Look, look at this color, Dad. Yeah, hey, let me get on here with this. I thought guy. it looks like a party. <laughs> you gotta clean your poverty model rims, okay, guys? They need cleaning too. Nice. That is nasty. Ooh. That is like the most fun thing ever. You like that? Yeah. I do. Those back wheel wells are really dirty, weren't they? Yeah. I can't even barely reach. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. This needs to be rained. Look, I can see my reflection. Is that a steel bunker? Yeah. Can I work on the other side, Daddy? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm renting it. It's going to get you. Ah! Told you. That was on purpose. I think we're done here. You like Look it? Look at this rig. Well, I haven't got to see the trailer. Well, we have never had anything this Look at this gloss. I don't know. You're a flexion. It's brand new. They just built it. I'm going to feel bad, like, dragging a car up on it. Right, well, that's like cleaning the truck up. It's like, we're going to get it dirty, but you got to take good care of stuff, you know? I do like this one. This is fancy. It's a lot longer than the other. Six feet longer. Haul more weight. We should have had this when we got Mom's Lincoln. We should have. We should have seriously had this. All that of mom's terrible. vehicles don't ever fit on the trailer. That so. was terrible. Mom picks the good ones. Well, see, maybe we can put the Jeep here and a car behind it going to Ford good Fest next one. year or something. Or seven MG Midgets. Well, guys, we're going to end this one off here. We're trying to step our game up around here where we can haul bigger vehicles and make it to more events with this truck and trailer. What can I say? We're blessed. Uh, we're blessed to have all you guys as viewers. You know, we couldn't have done something like this without you guys. We saved up our money. We dug deep in the envelope and tried to make an investment in our in our business here. You know, we didn't go super fancy. We didn't go uh, brand new high country diesel or nothing. Nothing like that. No Denali's for us. It's always good to buy a vehicle after somebody else has already took a lot of the depreciation. But it's hard to find trucks right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We look and look. It's also hard to find a 24 foot trailer. We found some in about 20 feet. That's only two feet more than what we had. So we kind of feel like we need a 24 footer. Oh. You'll definitely see this rig in future videos. We actually have a vehicle we bought we need to go pick up right now. You'll see this truck and trailer real soon. Going to pick something up, I'm sure. Hopefully we'll be able to save a bunch of vehicles with this setup right here and be able to make it to more events to see you guys. Cause it's a little sketchy going <laughs> in a 300,000 mile truck uh, as many miles as we go. But thank you as always for watching. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. You can see our merchandise down below. We got some new stuff. We got some uh, Christmas stuff. 
Yes. We got a Christmas Rocky shirt. You better check that out. What else we got? That's Unfortunate shirt. Oh, yeah. We got a That's Unfortunate shirt There's since a, we said all the time. A new I Love Wawa shirt. We need a tap it. Always I Love Wawa. Even a tap shirt. Yeah, we yeah. need to make one of those, huh? With a screwdriver. Did you pour one out for your homies? I poured one out for my homies. You saw me do it. I wiped it on my pants, too, for okay. my homies. All right. Wawa, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Please, go for it. Try go for it. it. Go for Do it. it. Mom? No, right, Ralph will go for it. But if you're wondering where Squeezie's at, she is at a birthday party now. Mm -hmm. I actually so want more. She still hasn't even seen the trailer. But she likes the truck. Yeah. She does she like does it. She does like the truck. She talks about how clean it. She didn't realize it was ours for a while. <laughs> uh, but even she, after uh, we said this is our new truck, she didn't yeah. get that we had bought that. Yeah, I, mean, I can't say enough about how thankful I am for all you guys watching. I really can't believe we were able to do something like this and save up the money and buy a nice truck and trailer like this. We didn't have anything give to us here. Uh, we worked for it. Please, if you're in the North Georgia area, check out their uh, trailer company here, D&D. &D. They gave us a good deal on this trailer and we'd like for you guys to go get a good deal too. Best deal I've found anywhere. Yeah, for sure. We better give Rocky some values or he's gonna be mad. He will be upset with you. You guys ready for Florida? Yes. yes. You, think sure you think this will make it there? Absolutely. Yes, yes absolutely. 100%. I love knowing we'll make it out of state somewhere. Well, you don't know that. Well, New cars break down too. That's well, a lot. You have you're, a lot more You're reassured. Than this one. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go get Rocky some Vanyas and Vanya some RC Cola. Look at these guys here. The water hose is leaking a little bit. And they're like, hey, what's up? I love that one with his crazy hair. It's a frizzle. A frizzle and a satin. Satin, okay. Where were you for the ending there? Oh, that's good. Rocky, I, I really thought he would walk on the trailer more. He really wanted to get in the truck, didn't he? Yeah, he was probably afraid the surface was too slick for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He don't like slick surfaces for sure. Uh, he's been eating banana tree so much, his belly's pooched out today. That's good that's stuff, it. huh? That's, that's all you got. What, we got Rocky Juniors all in here. Hey, guys, how you doing? Your beards are looking nice. This guy's buck wild right here. He is, he is buck wild. And he hangs out with his dad a lot, too. He's bigger than the other ones, isn't he? Mm hmm wonder why he's bigger. Why is he bigger? He's about as big as you, Rocky. Here you go. Oh, oh. oh she about got my fingers this time. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Man, you take her on a You better go to the buffet. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Dolly's a good girl. Tell him bye. Bye! Who cut the cheese? Shut it down. No, shut it down. You don't want to buy no more? She just cut the cheese. She did cut the she cheese. Went. Remember, <sighs> don't do a ninja kick and a Judy chop, cuz. There goes your leg. <laughs>